here with Ken Betterton, and Ken, I understand that, and this hat is gorgeous, that you're a former state trooper. Why don't you tell us about uh, being a state trooper? The state that it was, what you did, all the different things that you were involved with while you were a state trooper. No, thanks for asking. First thing is I wouldn't call it a hat. Circus, Not a hat. circus monkeys wear hats. That's a, that's a cover, but yeah. That's, that's a hat that I actually wore. Uh, I'm a third generation state trooper and very, very proud of it. I had a very fulfilling career. Um, the Utah Department of Public Safety, the state Utah. Department. Yeah, are amongst the finest, in my opinion, probably the finest troopers in the nation. Uh, it's, a, it's a career I took great pride in, and I was honored to be of service to the state of Utah and the citizens of Utah. What were some of the things you did as a, as a trooper there? Well, I started out, like everybody else, as a recruit in the academy. Went from there, I went to, uh, went to the field in Wendover, Nevada. Went from there into uh, Price, Utah, Moab, Utah. Promoted, went into the field as a field sergeant in the Metroplex, two different worlds from outlying area to a metropolitan area. Uh, while there, I ran a motorcycle unit, which was one of my favorite duties. Wow. Um, developed the, uh, had, had part of, I didn't personally develop, but I was among a team that developed a pristine drug and criminal interdiction unit that was recognized throughout the planet. We taught, I spent five years of my career traveling and, and working with other agencies on uh, indicators of criminal behavior, how to find narcotics and, and people that are not doing good things. Yep. Promoted, went into the, uh, into, the, into the Metroplex as a sergeant, had the motorcycle division, uh, went into the training division by request of one of, one of my mentors, a, a captain I worked for and had great respect for, went in there screaming and kicking. I didn't want to be in training because I thought all they did is sit around and get promoted. And then I thought, well, maybe that's not all bad. I never worked harder in my life. It's really and truly where I caught my passion, and that is the development of others. I uh, worked as an emergency vehicle operations instructor, went in to continue to teach criminal interdiction, had the opportunity to promote again. And at that point, I ran the, uh, the training division took another promotion and became the uh, academy commander through a program called Police Corps, which was a phenomenal experience for me. Uh, watching those young men and women come in and the transition and the metamorphosis that goes from being you know, an, an excited youngster into a fine polished trooper doing the right things for the right reasons. Got out of the academy, became the departmental inspector, reported to the commissioner of public safety. Great great uh, opportunities. I did everything that I wanted to do except for be a dog handler and uh, I just didn't have enough time. I would like to have done that as well. I can't imagine what he did the second week that he was in. <laughs> Thanks, Ken. Thank you.